You come, you walk across here at a strange time. Come on. Do your thing. Thank you. Hi, guys. This is Lori. That was Tux. Um, I want to show you an album I'm going to list on my Etsy store. I have made this album once before with a different closure. And, um, a slightly different cover. And, of course, the insides aren't the same. But, they are made with the same paper. So, this is eight and a half by six and a quarter. Right? Yes. No. Almost nine by five and three quarter. That was close. Okay. This is a brown uh, manila envelope. And uh, this is sari ribbon. And it, uh, it is eight whole pages. And so that makes 16 pages and 32 pages back to front, I think. So when you go in it, uh, it has a little notebook. It says notes. And inside here is note paper. And I don't know how many sheets, but quite a few. And uh, this is sorry ribbon. And this is pearl trim. And it says notes. And the paper is by Artie Mays. And I did alter it slightly. I added purple to a few pages. But most of it is still left the same that she made it. Um, this is a nice pocket to tuck pictures or stuff in or mementos. Anything. The next page just is a tag. And... Sorry, I gotta get a little bit of water. Believe it or not, I'm really allergic to my cat. I take medicine for it, but... And he loves to get up in my face, so... Sometimes it makes me have a hard time breathing. <coughs> he was the reason for my constant cough. Um, this one has a doily and a merchandise tag and a little butterfly and some fuzzy trim and a beautiful tag. This page has lots of room to write and paper clips on here are these uh, two envelopes. This is what I call my pole dark envelope because if you watch the show Pole Dark, um, this is how they send messages to each other, is on a little thing folded like that. It's kind of cute. And this is a decorated paper clip. Has this really pretty uh, crocheted flower and uh, a little gem in the middle of it and uh, some of the paper on it. And this little goodie is a little envelope like a like an invitation envelope is what it reminds me of and I didn't seal it like I didn't seal the sides down I left it open so you could journal in it and this says just a little something for a very special person that is a stampin up um, bread tag and on the back it has um, that I made it and if you're going to give this to somebody, you can just take this out if you want. This is a really old piece of paper. Really, it's not. Uh, but it, it, got, it got cooked so much that it looks really old. And it's coffee stained. So I tucked that in there too. And you can seal the envelope with a little bit of glue if you want. Um, if you use tape, whatever you put in it, uh, might stick, but maybe not. Probably not. But, <coughs> that's that. And so, this page 
has another little envelope on it. And I think this is called a coin envelope. And it also has this little decorated um, tag. Just a little piece of ribbon and a butterfly and a little flat, flat, flat button. And then this is another pull dark envelope. And then this has a button there and a button down here. And that's a veneer button. And then you just open it like so. I hate it when I get a little bit of glue on my finger and I can't get it off with water. So it opens up and here is a little journaling tag and a couple extra little pieces of paper stuck in there for little notes to add throughout the album. And then let's close this back up. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Everybody suggests that I get rid of my cat because I truly am very allergic to him. But I love him so much, I just can't. You know, we only have our pets for a little while, so... Before long, I won't have him anymore, and I will miss him horribly. So I will cherish every little minute that I have with that monster. And it has a little stamping down here. And it says, happiness is like a butterfly, which, when pursued, is always beyond our grasp but which, if you will sit down quietly, may light upon you. And that is by Nathaniel Hawthorne. It is a very pretty little stamp. I think that came from a Prima set. <coughs> this is a little um, crinkly pocket um, that I made out of parchment paper. And it has two little tags from the kit stuck in there, folded over. And some uh, extra trim that I just had. And um, some sorry ribbon. And just so you know, everything in here is glued down with Fabri-Tac, not hot glue. So it will last you for a very long time. And your, your uh, elements or ephemera will not come off. And so that's just a piece of vintage music paper. And anything you put in this side, you'll be able to see. This is like dictionary paper. And isn't that so beautiful? That is the paper without any purple being added. That is the true, true paper that Andrea made. She's so talented. I love her. And I had to use this page because it says Foster. And Foster is my maiden name. So this is just a pocket. Has some uh, lace trim down here. I don't think it's vintage or anything, but it's real pretty lace. And it has a button. Um, that is one of those veneer buttons. And a butterfly with fuzzy trim and some ribbon that has a little butterfly on it. And some really, really pretty pink trim. You'll see that trim again, that pink trim. And in this pocket, <coughs> I'm so sorry, is an envelope. And it has a tag in it. <laughs> he is pouting because I won't let him back up here. And a recipe card. And just another coffee dyed page. And this is the paper with the, the, the lighter purple. Like the lavender purple. I know you can't really see it very well, but it is so pretty. And this little pocket here has um, a butterfly, the fuzzy, the fuzzy trim, and a merchandise tag. And it says, don't say I wish, say I will. And another piece of that really old music paper. And a doily. And in this pocket, there's another one of the cold dark envelopes. <coughs> I will say I went a little overboard with the pulled dark envelopes, but they're cute. And um, another tag, like a journaling spot from the kit. And this is a little 
tag that you can journal in also. Maybe for a secret little memory that you don't want to share with everybody. Also, this opens up for more journaling. I don't know who to give credit to for that. I am, um, I, I did not create this, nor did I think of doubling those up. Um, so much I borrow from other people and I don't remember their names to tell you who. Now I could tell you where I see them from and I usually see everything from Yvonne White. I, I, I see most everything from her first. <laughs> <coughs> so, if you follow her, you'll see everything first, too, and then you'll see me copy it. Um, that's bad, isn't it? I'm sorry, Yvonne. This is a page that, um, uh, this back came from somewhere online. I don't remember, but it's a very nice page. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, here's another doily. I'm not copying on your album either. I'm copying in my sleep. Uh, here is a little envelope that I made with another one of those little bread tags in it. That one's just a blank bread tag. And um, a doily that I cut out from a lifestyle die. And um, these, of course, are Martha Stewart butterflies from her punch with a little bit of that fuzzy trim. And this side is just for writing. And then this does come off, in case you're interested in using it someplace else. If this comes off, both of these are loose and they're held together with a um, paper clip. <coughs> so, and you can write on this page also. Just pull that out. This has a lot of places to write. So this is another one of those decorated <clears throat> paper clips. And I don't know if this stamp is a Tim Holtz stamp or a Stampin' Up stamp. I'm not sure, but I mean, I only used it once, so it's okay. And here's some um, more of that fuzzy trim and a butterfly <coughs> tucked in here is a Prima uh, journaling spot and another one of the Paul Dark envelopes just way bigger. And this page has some um, Prima butterflies stamped on it. <clears throat> Down here it says Butterfly Kisses. And this is a pharmacy bag that I repurposed. I cut it in half so I could use it someplace else also. And this is some pink ribbon roses and a purple butterfly and another merchandise tag. And this is just some braille paper down here that it's all made on. And a doily and a scalloped place to write. Then in here, <coughs> it is a very generous pocket to store things in. There is a tag and it is so pretty and on the back of it is a piece of library paper, not library paper, music paper that you can um, tuck something into. And then this is a pretty envelope from Poland and I loved those flowers and I thought they went well with this, especially these flowers. They go so well with it. Not so much the color but the flower. <coughs> this is a true vintage envelope. It's from 1972, so I guess that doesn't really make it vintage. It just makes it really old, but it's pretty old. And it has some Polish writing right here. I don't think I can get it to focus there, but some real Polish writing. And inside this old envelope, I added some of the paper from the kit and I kind of made it into a tag that you can write in. And of course you can open this envelope up and write all in the inside of it and you can even write everywhere. You could put a photo right there and journal on the back. I use envelopes for everything. 
So this page is kind of weird. <laughs> Not really weird, but it's another one of those um, pole dark envelopes. And it has some tags in it. And you can actually use one of these tags if you wanted to. Further back in this little book, there was a little pocket. A little cellophane pocket or parchment pocket. Well, if you wanted to, this fits in here just perfectly. And then you can see it from the back. I mean, if you wanted to use it there, you could. But it fits right in here just perfectly. And this is another little decorated uh, paper clip. And it has a pink crocheted flower with a little blue center and some purple trim and a doily that you can use someplace else in the book also if you want to. <coughs> when you flip it over, this is what this side looks like. And this is kind of neat because if you wanted to, you could drink out of this one. Now, I don't remember her name and I don't remember what she called this pocket, but it's super cute. It has some little things tucked in it and it has a tag tucked behind it. But if you really needed something to drink, <clears throat> you could I think you have to pull these this way. Oh, it doesn't matter, but I'll just show you. You can open it up and it makes a little cup. Neat, huh? I don't I don't remember her name, the lady who did it. <clears throat> but this is not my invention. <clears throat> but it is so amazing. And this tucks behind there, so you have that little secret tuck spot. And then this goes back under the doily, like so. And then these tuck right into here <clears throat> to give you a place to make little notes. And this is another place to write. It is a um, coffee dyed paper. And then this, these are some like dual pockets in the middle. This actually comes in the kit like that. You don't have to do anything for it. And this is a tag you open up and write in if you want to. It has a pretty butterfly on that side too. And another one of the uh, Prima stamped journal things. And then this is actually trash. <laughs> yes, I'm going to sell you trash. That is peeling up. I'm sorry. But it is an old album. You know, it's supposed to look vintage and it's going to peel up. You're going to use this so much and love it so much that you're going to use it all the time and things are going to get wore out on it. And my little Frank's Red Hot Glue will fix it up just perfect. And you'll never even know that it happened. Hello, killer. There we go. See? You never even know that it was there. Are you done sniffing? Could I get on with my thing? Could I? No, no, no. Go on. Go on with you, killer. So, and it's already dry. Stop it. And so this is what this looks like. Taxi, you gotta go, kid. You gotta go. I love you so much, but you gotta go. <clears throat> okay. So this is a doily cut out of a brown paper bag. And this is some more of a sari ribbon. And it is just, you know, fraying perfectly. I always put a bow in the center of my... And I always give you a little cat hair, no matter whether you want it or not. And this is all like the twin of that one. Did I miss a page? I missed a page. This is just for journaling. Lots of journaling room. 
more journaling and this is what it looks like when it's purple like when you make it purple so pretty so this is a stacked pocket you can you have three pockets one two three now I don't have anything in this pocket up here but it would be something really long <clears throat> the pocket goes as long as the uh, page so it goes pretty deep and you also get this neat pole dark envelope and you can tuck things behind there this one is an old um, piece of book paper and it is a poem about the ghost house but I will not read it to you you can read it yourself <clears throat> and I'll tuck it right back in here for you and then this is a um, what do they call these like come out I want to show you I have no idea what this could be stuck on either let me look for real I have no idea how did it get glued down in there there's no glue <clears throat> so sorry so sorry but you see how easily it can be fixed um, this is a you used to feed these into a printer and it would print all your information on it for your Rolodex but instead of doing that I stamped on it and on this side I, th I think it's called a camellia I, I think that is how you would say that that flower and then on this side it is like the parts of the butterfly and I'm going to put it back in here and I'm going to see if it comes back out easily. Look, it gets caught on something down there. I'm going to see. Because there should be nothing that it gets caught on down there. You know what I think it's getting caught on? It's getting caught on that. Ah, I see. When you shove this in, it gets stuck behind this paper clip because there really is nothing that it can get stuck on in here let's see this pocket and see yeah see it's getting stuck behind that paper clip don't put it in that pocket don't put anything really deep down in that pocket right there <clears throat> so then this is a I uh Wow, that kind of got stuck on there. Well, so don't pull that out. This is a uh, a playing card that I made. And just a random little bit of, of ephemera right there. This is the other part of the pharmacy bag that I cut in half. And then this one uh, is just as big and gapping as the other one you can tuck stuff behind it and you can tuck stuff inside the butterfly just depends where you want to tuck it <coughs> and this is another piece of the sorry ribbon and some beads right there flat back beads this is kind of interesting this envelope right here this cellophane envelope they're very very old um, they're kind of yellowing and be very gentle with it if you take it out and play with it or look at it because it it very well could tear they're very old and here is another one of the pole dark envelopes right there and this is a heart that I cut out of the same paper bag and a tag tucked back there and it has a decorated uh, ticket with a butterfly and some fuzzy trim and a bird paper clip you want to see this envelope up close <clears throat> this is what they look like they're really old and they're really yellowed and um, they're, they're pretty old they 
usually come with stamps like <clears throat> when you collect stamps you used to get them mailed to you in these envelopes like whatever was in here was from 1961 to 1968 so but they're really old so be careful with it if you take it out to play with it <clears throat> or look at it I'm sorry not play with it so this is the back side of the <clears throat> little birdie the birdie paper clip another tag the rest of the heart another um, tag and then the envelope that you can tuck behind but you could also take all of this stuff out and put something in there and you would be able to see it from behind so kind of neat however you want to use it and so here's the rest of the doily another page to journal uh, this is another one of those little flip pockets and that's what it looks like up close just a butterfly and a tag and a doily and some really old <clears throat> book paper and another tag that just tucks in there and this side is some little corner tucks so those are just some banners and these are just some little tickets and you can write on that old page that whole page not old page and here is a little stamp of a flower I believe that stamp is Tim Holtz I don't know for sure I don't remember and the paper it has just so much interest to it I just think it like has its own little like journaling spots broken up like a picture could go here and your journaling could go here and I don't know I just thought it looked kind of cool how it coffee dyed itself Here's a tag, like a journaling tag. Here's another tag you can journal on. <clears throat> and then that's what that looks like. Up close it has a little um, camera paper clip and a couple butterflies and a doily and some sari ribbon really pretty and of course some lace and a really beautiful page of the paper right there oh and this is the other side of that cellophane and it has a tag tucked in it one of the tags like you can fold out And journal on and a doily and this can also tuck in there if you wanted it to it will tuck in or it will tuck behind doesn't matter where you put it <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it back behind this doily and the other side of it is also kind of pretty it's got a bigger tag and um, you know this is an old book page that I cut a piece out of and then this page is just more of those corner tucks and some place to journal and a pretty little ticket tucked in there and this side is just um, what do you call it stenciled and this is another one of those big tags you can open out and write and I don't think that's a flip no that's not a flip but it's decorated kind of pretty butterflies and this is the last page and it is just a paper just the paper and it's truly what the paper would look like if you just printed it that beautiful blue and purple mixed no it wouldn't be purple it would be blue so this is what the purple and the blue look mixed <clears throat> it's really pretty paper and this is just another one of those pole dark envelopes 
and a tag and it opens up and I deliberately left this empty for you so that you could write your name and the year and what this was about this point in your life and then this is a hidden envelope to hide all your secrets so in here I tucked some things away for you that were extra that I didn't use this paper matches this perfectly it's the paper from the front right here so you can use it someplace else in here to make a belly band or just trim tuck spot anything you want so I put that there for you this is full of the little flat buttons a couple little flat buttons a merchandise tag corners of that really beautiful old uh, um, music paper and then literally just some little itty bitty bits of paper that were left so you can punch out your own butterflies your own flowers your um whatever you want you have a little bit of the paper this is what was left these are my scraps may seem strange but i always try to give them to people when i make an album for them or a junk journal this is a pocket you can either use this pocket this way or you can put it along a page and use it that way so it's up to you however you want to use it this is just an extra piece of the paper for you to write on and and tuck in someplace this is a book page I put in here for you in case you want to make a pocket or flowers or whatever you want to do with it it's there for you so I'm going to put this in my Etsy store I um I don't know why my other Etsy store was closed I don't know maybe lack of use so I'm going to what well, I already have opened a new one and I'm going to put this in it um, I'll ship it pretty fast and you'll get a tracking number so if you pay with PayPal PayPal will send you the tracking number and I don't know what happens if you pay with a credit card or a debit card but either way I will get you a tracking number that way and it always comes insured and if you do a video of this album when you get it and you share it on your YouTube channel or on Facebook or Instagram and you tag me in it then I will send you a code for 25% off your next purchase in my store so this is it I hope you enjoyed looking at it I hope you want to buy it <laughs> I will see you guys next time have a nice rest of your weekend and um, I will put a disclaimer on the Etsy that there are cats in my home but there is one cat and he is obnoxious and he gets in absolutely everything that I do so I will put that little disclaimer on my Etsy and please um, you know buy this with a discretion if you're allergic to cats because I am allergic to him and I understand how miserable it can be if you're allergic to cats so I'll see you guys next time have a great night weekend see you guys bye